So for, for this question, you want to make sure you answer all parts of the question. So it's some really important information that you want to keep in mind. Um, and it's right here. There are three voting districts in the city. Now that's important. Um, and they kind of have an outline. The table shows the voting results for District 1 and 2. So this is District 1. This is District 2 for each candidate. District 3 has 2,680 2, votes and has not yet reporting, reported the results. Assume that candidate that assume that the candidates each received the approximate approximately the same percentage. So we see approximately the same percentage. That's important because you want to focus on percentage in your response of the total votes of District 3 as they do in District 1 and 2. So the, so it's going to be approximately the same percentage. So we want to use the percentage for our approximation or for our estimation. Now for the questions that we have to address, you always you want to highlight the questions that you have to address. So I'm going to grab the highlighter. It says describe a mathematical approach. So we have to describe or create. It says or that means choose one or the other. Describe or create a mathematical approach or something that's going to give the total number of votes. And I changed this to candidate A. You have to answer for candidate B. This is just showing you, giving you an example of how to do it for candidate B. I'm going to do candidate A. You have to do candidate B in your response. So it says you have to describe or create uh, a way to figure out the total number of votes. You're going to have candidate B. I'm going to do candidate A receive in district three. You have to show or explain uh how you uh, how you applied your mathematic approach so how you applied your approach to, or created the model i'm going to focus on describing i don't want to create a model you can but i, I don't want to create a model i'm going to i'm going to erase that part so i'm deciding what i want to do i have to describe or create i want to create I want well, I want to describe a mathematical approach that, to get the total number of votes for candidate A. And then I want to show, uh, or I can explain, I, I'll explain my approach. I could show it. Well, no, I'll, sh I'll show my approach. Or I can explain this. I don't know. Maybe I'll show you how to do both. But you don't have to do both in your response. And then the last part, we want to use, use your approach of model use your approach or model to calculate so we actually need to calculate a reasonable estimate to get the total number of votes for candidate b your say candidate b i'm doing this right here on your response on paradox slides you have to do candidate b so do not copy the same thing that i have here please don't so i'm going to do candidate a this is what we have to answer all three parts of the question and we want to make sure we stay organized so Let's go. I'm going to clear this. So I know I need to use percentage because they said percentage. And percentage is nothing more than the parts of whole relationship. So let me get some, some space to type. All right. So the first thing I want to do is start off by restating the question. So I know I need to answer uh, one to show or explain how I apply my approach. And then I have to estimate, estimate the total number of votes that for B. So I have to do three things here. So you will start always by restating the question. question. So describe a mathematical approach to estimate the total number of votes candidate A receive in District 3. So we're talking about candidate A in District 3. So I like that. Candidate A in District 3. And they said right here that they have approximately, so whenever they're asking you to approximate, nothing that you say is really going to be wrong as long as you give a clear cut explanation of why you said what you said. So uh, you, I would start off by saying a mathematical approach because you always want to restate the question 
for what percentage of the votes the candidate A received. And I can use that information as my approach. So a mathematical approach to estimate the total number of votes candidate A receives is to uh, find, we want, we want to, I can find the total percent candidate A received in district one and two. Find the total percent Candidate A receive in District 1 and 2. Um, then use the average percent to, and then that's what it says up here, approximate the same percent. So I will use the average percent to approximate the total number of votes, or to say the, the total number of votes, approximate the total number of votes for candidate A in District 3. So that's my that's my describe a mathematical approach. I describe what I wanted to do in order to get the number of votes for candidate A in district three. And then it says show or explain how you applied your method. All right, so let's see. So you would say uh, to apply this method. I'm gonna show my work to apply this method. See steps below. You don't have to do steps. You can just explain using words. I'm going to do steps so you can see what I'm doing. So since a fraction, so step step one. Since a since a percent is a part to whole ratio, I can figure out the percentage by putting that. So I'm going to put step one. Uh, find a percent. Find the percentage for district one. So a fraction, a percent is a part to whole. And if we get that, and if we get changes to a decimal, we can literally just divide it and we'll have a decimal and multiply by 100 to get the percent. So if we do the part times the whole, that'll change it to a decimal. So let's set it up like that. Uh, and then we can multiply it times 100 to change it to a percent. So find a percent, I could put using the formula. Find a percent using the formula part over whole times 100. Part, part over whole is going to change to a decimal and then multiply by 100. That'll change it to the percent because percent is part 100. So I will come down here uh, and then I would, it says, it show or explain how you applied. Estimate the total. So I will put, let me just copy this. And you don't have enough room for all of this. So I will put, instead of putting the part, I will put for district one, candidate one, re, candidate A received 857 votes. So I'll put 800, 857 over the total, the whole for candidate two is 2,380. So if you divide that, let's get a calculator. If we go ahead and divide that, let me move it. It says uh, 857 divided by, remember a fraction is a form of division, 2380. That's going to give me a decimal. So this decimal says about it's about 36 per 36 hundredths. If you round it to the hundredths place, it'll be 36 hundredths. So that'll be 36%. So if you multiply by 100, you can get the actual percentage. But you don't have to. You can see the decimal placement. So it's about 36%. So if you multiply that, so that'll be 0. Point, that's equivalent to about 36 hundredths. And you can say that is equivalent to 36%. All right, so that's for, that's for District A. So 
this is district A. I mean, district one, this is district one. And then we want to do the same thing for district three. So step two, find, and you can put this in words, the percent for district two. Next, we want to find the percentage for district, for district two using the same formula. So we're going to use the, we're going to do district two. All right, so so for district two, remember a percent is a part to whole. So if we take the part, and you're gonna, you're gonna need to know this for your college day project. If we take the part six hundred forty four dollars or six hundred forty four votes, and divide it by the whole, and I got that from here. If you look right here, I'm I'm right here. Six hundred forty four votes for candidate A, and the total is two thousand seventy eight. So I'm going to put that in for my part and my whole 644 and 2078. Now you could have just added those up. It's an easier way to do this actually. Now we want to figure out what percent is that. So I'm going to divide it to get the hundreds per 100. And then I can change that per 100 to a percent. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 644 divided by or over that that a fraction is a form of division 2078 and that's going to give us about this round rounded to the nearest hundredth it'll be 31 percent so i'm going to put 0.31 and that's going to round if you multiply by 100 that'll be 31 percent so approximately 31 percent and i'm not i'm gonna put approximate symbol right here so approximate symbol is going to be that squiggly line insert symbol I need some space so now I can use the average of the percent so we could say step three use the average to uh, up, get an approximate percentage of votes for candidate three. I mean for candidate A in district three. All right, so we would, how do, how do we get the average? <laughs> we add up 36% plus 31% uh, and that'll give us 67% uh, and if you divide that by two, you'll get an approximate percent. So remember, if you want to find the middle of two values, you just add the values up. So 36 plus 31, it'll add the values up and then divide it by two because you're trying to find the middle value. So that's going to be 33 and a half, 33 and a half. And since they said approximate, we could say uh, 33 and a half percent, which is about... That rounds to about 34%. And they said approximately, so you can't go wrong if you round. Now we have, so lastly, we want to use the percentage, which is 34%, to calculate the number of votes in District 3 for candidate A. Now you can set it up as part over whole is equal to part over whole. Uh, I'm just going to multiplying 34% as a decimal, decimal times the total number of votes. So that's going to give us the answer. Uh, so now we want to answer the last part of the question. It says, use your approach or, use your approach to estimate the total number of votes for candidate B. <laughs> Using this approach, candidate A will receive, and we want to figure out the number. So I'm going to do the math down here. We, we said 34, candidate A is going to receive about 30, 34% of the votes. So we can change that into an equation. 34% as a decimal, 0.34. And we want to of is to multiply. And then the total number of votes in District 3 was two, is 2,680. So I'm going to multiply that by 2,680. And that's going to give me the total number of votes. So we got 3,400. Because you have to change the percent into a fraction or decimal. 
and then we want to multiply that by 2680 and that's going to give us about 911 votes back here using the approach candidate a will receive about 911 votes all right so you want to make sure you answer all parts of the question so uh, the first question it says describe the mathematical approach uh, so it says I described the mathematical approach right here a mathematical approach you always want to restate the question so I'm just making sure I have um, all of my ducks in order so that's my part a or the first part that I had to answer uh, so I'm showing you how I answer all parts of the question. It says to apply this method. So next it says show. So I show or explain how you applied your mathematical approach to estimate the total or how you applied your mathematical approach. Show or explain how you applied your mathematical approach. So I said to apply this, I shouldn't put method. I should put to apply this mathematical approach. You want to use the same verbiage that they used in the question. So I explain, or I I told them I'm going to show you how to use this mathematical approach. So that's the second part answer. And then it says estimate the total number of votes candidate using the approach using your approach. Estimate the total number of votes for candidate uh, for candidate A in District Three. So I said uh, using this approach, uh, candidate A will receive 900 so I used the approach and gave them an answer so you have to make sure you answer all parts of the question and that's pretty much it now if you wanted to type this in words you can uh, you can do it a different way you can you can um, you can definitely shorten it up this is just a long stretched out answer now what you have to do is you have to do the same thing but instead of doing candidate A you're going to be doing candidate B so you will find the part to hold. You can add these up, add these up, and then divide them. So you will, you can eliminate this right here, and you'll get straight to this part right here. So you can make it shorter. This is just how I did it to explain, and so you can see how the process works. But the main thing here is you want to make sure you say uh, restate the question and answer all parts of the question. So, uh, in conclusion. Um, a mathematical approach to estimate the total number of votes candidate A received in District 3 is to find the total percentage for candidate A, find the total percentage candidate A received in District 1 and 2, then use, use uh, the average percent, use the average percent to approximate the total number of votes for candidate A in District 3. So you will say candidate B. And then I gave, a, now that's just words. Now I want to explain because they said, give up approach and then they said to apply it so now uh to apply the mathematical approach now applying means to give some numbers some real actual numbers so to apply the mathematical approach uh, i said see the steps below so step number one find a percent for district one using the formula part over whole so that's going to change it to a decimal and then multiply by 100. so i actually told them what i was going to do and then i did it and then it says district one at District 1, candidate A had 857 votes out of the whole or part to whole. And then I divided that and I got a decimal and I rounded to the hundreds place since percent is per 100. And then I just put the percent symbol on the end. And then step two, it says find a percent for District 2 using the same formula. So I have District 2. I have my part over whole. I rounded it to the nearest hundred and changed it to a decimal percent. And then I use the average to get an approximate percentage of votes candidate A will, will receive in District 3. So to find the middle of those two numbers, I will add the percentages up and then divide it by 2. Maybe add, i got to put parentheses around this. So you will add the percentages up and divide it by 2. Because that's how you're going to get the middle of those numbers. Oh, and that's going to give you about 34%. So I know candidate candidate uh, B or candidate candidate A is going to receive about 34% of the votes because they said it's an approximate percentage. Then they, they're going to receive, if we go back to the text, 
it says they're going to receive uh, approximately the same percentage. So I got an approximate percentage and I'm going to use that to get the total number of votes. All right. So I approximated about they're going to receive about 34 percent. And when you're approximating, as long as you're in that ballpark range, then you're going to be OK. As long as you pick a percentage between 36 and 31 and you explain why you picked that, you should be fine. All right. Next, it says uh, step number four. This is lastly, use the percentage 34 percent to calculate the number of votes in District 3 for candidate A by multiplying the 34 percent as a decimal times the total number of votes. Um, and then I could put in parentheses, the total number of votes is 2,680. Um, and then I actually did it using the approach candidate A will receive 911 votes. And then I show 34% of the votes is 34 hundredths times 2,006, the total votes, 34% of the total votes is about 911 votes. Now you can set it up as part over whole because remember your percent formula is part over whole is equal to part percent over whole percent and the whole percent is always 100. So if you set this up, the part is unknown. The part is unknown and you know that you want it to be equivalent to 34 per cent. And you know the total number of votes is 2,680. So you actually can use equivalent ratios also to find the part, or you can use, uh, or you can solve for the variable. So you can figure out, okay, how do I start with uh, 100 and end up with uh, 2,680? You can use division. So this is another way you can do it. So you can say, okay, 2,680 divided by 100 is going to give you 26 and 8 tenths. So if you multiply 100 times 26 and 8 tenths, you'll get 2,680. Whatever you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. So you will multiply that by 26 and 8 tenths. So if you multiply the denominator by 26 and 8 tenths, you want to multiply the numerator by 26 and 8 tenths. And we're going from here to here, so we need to multiply. Going this way, we would have to divide. So I'm going to put 34 in my calculator. If you want to put this, use this method, it's fine. 34 times 26 and 8 tenths, and that'll give you 911 and 2 tenths. So the whole, I mean, the, uh, the part, 911, the part that the candidate A will receive is about 911 and 2 tenths votes. That's equivalent to... 34%. So that's how you could put your answer as well. Or you could use the approach like that. Whatever you want to do, you can't be wrong as long as you answer all parts of the question and you give a reason for why you said what you said.